Tonight, Senator Bernie Sanders, independent from Vermont. Senator, good to have you with us. You were quoted calling these votes, quote, a step forward for Republicans. Uh, how so? Uh, well, it's the first time that we at least have some Republicans, although just a handful, acknowledging what the scientific community is telling us over and over again, that climate change is real, that it is caused by human activity, and that it is already causing devastating problems. Uh, but just a few moments ago, Ed, I offered an amendment which said those things and said that based on what the scientists are telling us, we need to transform our energy system away from fossil fuel and into energy efficiency and sustainable energy as quickly as we can. And you know how many Republican votes I got for that one? Zero, not one. So the issue here in the Senate is whether we listen to the scientists and the people who know the most about the issue, or whether you listen to the powerful special interest and the campaign contributors who want to tell us that science, that climate change is not real, we really don't have to worry about it, we can continue to burn fossil fuel. So, uh, Senator, when, when we're looking at this, uh, your Keystone Amendment was just tabled, as you just said, and a vote was 56 to 42. So uh, this wrangling that's going on in the Senate uh, over Keystone, back and forth all week long on a number of different things, doesn't the Senate understand that no matter how the vote goes, this pipeline cannot be built? That there are still legal issues in Nebraska that are going to play out probably another two, two and a half years on eminent domain? Is, is it the Senate just wasting their time on this? Well, I think the answer to your question is yes, and then on top of that, the president has said he's going to veto it, and they don't have the votes to override the veto. Uh, but, Ed, for these guys, the Keystone Pipeline has become a symbol, and that's what they're going to fight for. I mean, they see this as a major jobs program, a bill that will provide 35 permanent jobs and several thousand construction jobs over a period of two years. That's their idea of a real jobs bill. But they will reject the idea of rebuilding our crumbling infrastructure and put millions of people to work. That's a real jobs program that they reject. So this tells us not only that they turn their back on science, but they are not serious in any way what for do you real job creation in this country. Yeah, what do you make of Senator Inhofe's comments on the climate? I know Jim Hanoff pretty well, and he is a very religious guy, he's a very honest guy. And what he was saying is, look, yes, climate change is taking place, but not because of human activity. It has taken place historically. Uh, there are references to it in the Bible, but it is not being created by carbon okay. emissions and human activity. And, and one more point. Hillary Clinton was in uh, Winnipeg, Manitoba. She refused to take a position on Keystone. What's your reaction to that? I think that's unfortunate. I think this is an, an enormously important issue, and it tells us whether or not we're going to change course in terms of our energy policy and move away from fossil fuel or with, whether we continue the same old very very dangerous way and remain dependent in this case on some of the dirtiest oil uh, in the planet senator bernie sanders good to have you with us tonight sir thanks so much and that is the ed show i'm ed Schultz, politics nation with reverend al sharpton start